What's up fam? Am I allowed to say that? You know when you're working in Premiere and you go to replace a clip with an After Effects composition and you hit the dreaded Adobe After Effects 2021 must be installed to import this file error message? Let me show you how to fix it in this video. <laughs> After Effects. Yes, After Effects is so cool. This is gonna be great. We've got a fuzzy Maine Coon cat and a woman crying. All this needs is a slick After Effects transition to make this clip awesome. Well, let's see. Replace with After Effects composition. Come on, baby. Oh no. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. There's so much discussion, so many angry users over on the Adobe support community. There are so many people across the planet trying to use replace with After Effects composition in Premiere Pro. They go to use it and they get all kinds of error messages and they're all posting over on the discussion board. And man, are they, mm, they're mad. They're paying good money for their subscription to Adobe Creative Cloud and they want this feature to work. They wanna go into Premiere, they wanna click on a clip, they wanna right click, and they wanna choose Replace with After Effects Composition. I have to make my wife's TV dinner. I really did have to put my wife's TV dinner in the oven. She's on her way home from work. She's worked a long day. She's gonna be hungry when she gets home. She's on her feet, seeing patients. I don't know how she does it, to be honest. I had to put that TV dinner in the oven for her. It's gonna be piping hot when she gets home. Gold star house husband. So as I was saying, people wanna go into Premiere Pro. They wanna right click and they wanna choose replace with After Effects composition, but it's not working. I experienced this myself on my Mac when I was trying to use the feature and the error that I got was Adobe After Effects must be installed to import this file. A lot of times somebody from the community or somebody from Adobe jumps into the thread and says, update to the latest version of Premiere, update to the latest version of After Effects and that'll fix it. A lot of people are reporting back that no, that's not fixing it and they're very upset. So after reading the Adobe help site for about an hour and after reading a similar thread on Reddit for another hour, I finally came across a post that led me to the answer, at least for my system, which is a Mac. Now in my case, I'm using After Effects 2021 as well as Premiere Pro 2021. So your mileage may vary, but what I'm going to show you right now is how I fix the Adobe After Effects must be installed to import this file error on my system. I hope it works for you guys. Let me know in the comments below if it works. If it doesn't work, boy, I sure hope it works for you because it's frustrating. And when, you, when I got it working, I was so excited because it is so slick to go from Premiere Pro, take your clip, take it into After Effects and apply your transition or do whatever After Effects magic you want to do to your clip and save the project in After Effects and command tab back over to Premiere Pro. And there's your After Effects clip and it's super slick when it works so I was really excited when I got this working I was I was really disappointed I thought I wasn't gonna get it working and I, and I was gonna have to do all these manual steps to move a clip out of Premiere into After Effects and then back oh it was such a pain and I was really having trouble getting things to align and it was taking so much time so once I got this working I was so excited and so pleased and I know you guys will be too so I hope it works for you let's check out the fix basically guys you need to go to the program itself in the applications folder get info on it. I've already applied this fix, so I'll undo it so you can see what it was like before. So before when this was broken, we had uh, something like this where you had the wheel group and possibly everyone set to read only like you see here. So when you want to come fix this on your Mac, come in here, click that little lock like I just did, set these to read and write for wheel and also set read and write for the everyone group. Click that little lock again to commit your changes, close this, and then repeat that um, on Premiere Pro on the application itself in the applications folder. So once again, click the lock to authenticate. And as you can see, I've already fixed this on my system, but just to repeat this, this wheel group and this everyone group was set to read only when the problem was occurring. I came in here, I set these to read and write, and I committed that change by locking it back down. And that is the first part of the fix. Part of the fix is pretty simple. You open up your system preferences. Within your system preferences, you find security and privacy. Within security and privacy, you locate the full disk access icon. Then you have to click this little lock to authenticate and I have already fixed this problem on my system, but what you will find if you run a Mac and you hit this problem is that you'll come in here to full disk access. 
and After Effects, and Premiere Pro will not, I repeat not, have this little check mark. So what you need to do is set this check mark for After Effects and Premiere, and then you need to click this lock to commit your changes, and then if they're open, you need to quit out of it, After Effects, quit out of Premiere, relaunch them, and then everything should start working. Hooray. Let me know if it works for you guys. Another day, another filming session. Now that we've defined the problem, we fixed the problem, let me show you how it's supposed to work. I've set up an outstanding example. Uh, I've got two clips here. One is a Maine Coon cat, and it's on my timeline next to a woman who's crying. Because <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> I thought the juxtaposition of this fluffy Maine Coon cat and this woman who's having a, a breakdown. <laughs> Why is that funny? I don't know. It's it's comedy somewhere in the back of my mind. I made this video because it was obvious from reading Reddit, it was obvious from reading the support pages on Adobe's site that a lot of people have this problem. The feature is supposed to work the same whether you're Mac or Windows, so I hope you get it working. It's a lot of fun, it's so useful, it's so handy. That's it for today's video, guys. Smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment below about your experience with this feature or anything that's on your mind whatsoever. Sky's the limit, carte blanche, See you guys in the next video, bye.